This is a place where players can come and, and get better and um, be surrounded by an organization that supports you. We're, they're going to have everything they need to be successful. Stephanie White just revealed the entire Fever squad. And let me tell you, this is the kind of upheaval you've been hoping for. White is here to bolster this team with players who are genuinely committed to the fever and fiercely loyal because these are the game changers who understand what true sportsmanship is and are prepared to compete for a championship. Caitlin Clark's team's future is about to be completely changed and supporters should prepare for an unforgettable season. Because it's time for the fever to compete for a championship and Sotheby would be a huge piece for that. God bless whoever came up with the brilliant idea to hire White as head coach, because without her, we would still be left with Christie watching the team disintegrate. White's vision is thrilling, strategic, and poised to turn the fever into a powerhouse, and you won't be prepared for what's about to happen. B, that's, that's the past tense, right? She's referencing the past there. Just when you think there's no more excitement to come if you are unaware, Koff is the ultimate mastermind. Kelly Koff returns to the scene with a brisk gait. The legend who drove the team to their lone WNBA championship in 2012 is back with a bang, and this time, she's not thinking soft moves or little adjustments. The cops' approach is so bold that it's almost careless signing 10 free agents who could change the game 10. Let that sink in. This is a comprehensive redesign and rebranding of the Fever's future. The message is quite clear. They're coming for everything, and mediocrity isn't an option. And I think oftentimes people forget that I'm a great person before a basketball player. So for me as a big sister, I'm just like, I'm gonna take this first step first. So just let her know like, we're here, we got you, whatever you need from me as your vet. Now, if you're not already excited, let's discuss what could turn out to be the most thrilling backcourt the WNBA has ever witnessed. Caitlin Clark and Kelsey Mitchell. After scoring an incredible 19.2 points per game the previous season, Kelsey is already a proven bucket getter. Caitlin Clark and Kelsey Mitchell make up the most electrifying backcourt in the WNBA. And she, she wasn't only good, either. She was incredibly impressive, scoring over 20 points in seven consecutive games following the Olympic break. Defenders must have been having a terrible time expecting to get thrashed game after game. Are you in a position where you can add some pieces? Yes, we are. We're, we're definitely in a position. And... I would think that if you are um, a smart basketball player and you watch the way she plays, you would want to play with her. Caitlin Clark enters. This is a direct franchise. The Revolution Clark is more than just a scorer. She is a walking highlight reel with playmaking abilities that could call into question the existence of even the best defenders. Her passing, vision, and court sense are all elite. She is the ideal partner for Kelsey Mitchell and the two of them could produce an offensive display that would have WNBA defenses gasping for mercy. There is no safe way to deal with these two on the floor, so choose your poison. Good thing for women's basketball. Um, I'm playing alongside this kid, so it makes everything, you know, a little bit more dramatic and like the people are coming out to see this person. So we just do what we can. Um, we embrace it. I'm pretty sure our organization can feed off of it. Naturally, keeping Kelsey Mitchell on board won't be a straightforward handshake. Instead, she will demand that Supermax bag, probably around $250,000. That's a significant portion of the salary cap, and it will put the Fever's financial wizardry to the test. This is the kind of situation where one poor choice could result in years of regret, or if done correctly, it could mean championships, high stakes, and drama, and we're ready for it. Um, because Kelsey Mitchell said basketball is a language and you have to get on the same page. Me and Caitlin like to play fast and up-tempo and I'm always going to align based on how she's playing and how she's going. However, it's not just about the back court. Let's turn our attention to the Fever's front court and the intriguing prospect of adding NEA Umic. If you're wondering if she's still elite, the answer is definitely yes. She averaged 16.6 points and 7.6 rebounds per game the previous season but she's more than just her numbers. Take a look at these figures. Look at these stats, look at these numbers. Last year, NECA, she averaged her best numbers since her MVP season in 20. Nine-time All-Star and past MVP NECA offers the kind of leadership that can fundamentally alter a team's culture. Just think of her coaching, we're discussing generational growth and the kind of mentoring that transforms potential into dominance with Aaliyah Boston, one of the Fever's emerging stars. 
We're excited to be able to announce right now on SportsCenter that NECA is your 2016 WNBA Most Valuable Player. Om Kelly Koff's approach to signing Aga Mickey is a master of persuasion, coughing up a fantasy, and proposing a vision of a dynasty surrounded by talented people like Boston and Clark, not just about throwing money at her. You Mickey might be the linchpin that turns the fever into a real powerhouse rather than just a playoff contender. It's a chance to reset culture, put the fever back on the map, and possibly even make some WNBA history one-on-one. -on -one. With Mitchell's scoring and Clark's playmaking, we might be looking at we're talking about a six feet four inches forward who dominates the game of basketball and maybe the game-changing player for the Indiana Fever. Her 2023 stats are absolutely astounding. 17.9 points, 6.4 rebounds, and five assists per game. Her versatility is what WNBA coaches aspire to, and if the Fever can sign her, we're looking at a whole new level of competition on both ends of the court. Sibali is not just a one-trick pony, she does it all. Scores, makes plays, rebounds, and offers defensive skills. One high-profile free agent who would be a perfect fit for the Fever is Satu Sabali from the Dallas Wings, who was at the, the Liberty Parade uh, with her sister, enjoying that, and some people could make the case that maybe she'd want to go to New York. New York. Why is Sibali such a good remedy for Fever? Her size and scoring prowess make defending Indiana's offense a defensive coordinator's worst nightmare. She is built to run, handle the ball, and thrive in a high-tempo offense, exactly the style the Fever is preparing to unleash. Picture her flying down the court and getting no-look dimes from Caitlin Clark or stepping back for a deep three while the defense scrambles. Good luck coming up with a strategy. But the, the Fever, she would be an awesome and amazing fit as the stretch four. But here However, signing Sibali is more difficult than expected because she is a restricted free agent, meaning the Dallas Wings have first dibs and can match any offer the Fever makes to her. Talk about making things more difficult. To make Dallas sweat, Indiana will need to come up with something innovative, like a front-loaded deal or performance-based incentives. It's essentially a high-stakes game of chess, and the Fever's front office needs to play this game like Bobby Fischer on a coffee binge and... And if you're looking at their cap table, it seems like they do have the room to make a, a big-time acquisition. Kelsey Mitchell is going to get a max deal. That's going to be priority number one. But then they have to bolster the rest of the roster because it's time for the fever. And, and simply to add additional spiciness on social media, Sibali has been flirting with Indiana fever supporters. She likes comments, interacts with posts, and essentially feeds enough rumors to keep Twitter buzzing for weeks. Of course, this doesn't mean that she is leaving for Indiana, but it's enough to get the fans excited about the possibilities. If Sibali does wind up in Indiana, you might as well purchase your playoff tickets right away since her entrance will instantly propel the fever into championship talks and transform them from a rebuilding project into a legitimate powerhouse. Comments on TikTok um, about the, the fever, you know, wanting to bring her in. Fever will welcome you. She liked that. Would love to see you with the fever with some heart emojis. Not that that means anything, um, but nonetheless, <laughs> that is a, a positive indicator, at least for Fever. Let's now discuss Natasha Howard, who is another intriguing piece of the Fever puzzle. Howard, who averaged 17.6 points in 2023, is a defensive beast. She is the type of player who makes opponents' lives miserable with her 6.7 rebounds, 1.2 blocks, and 1.3 steals per game. Her versatility enables her to guard every position, disrupt offensive tactics, and anchor a defense like nobody's business. Pair her with Aaliyah. You have an almost impenetrable paint presence in Boston. Sheldon is a foot on the floor. With three seconds remaining, Natasha Howard trains, tying the score at 92. Not to be overlooked is the offensive contribution Howard makes with her rim protection. Caitlin Clark would have greater freedom to quicken the pace, transforming Indiana into a hardwood track meet. Leading the swift break is Clark. The type of basketball that makes highlight reels pop is Howard's final game at the rim. This fever squad has the potential to become one of the WNBA's fastest and most exciting teams ever. And who wouldn't want to watch that? I plant these seeds now. WNBA players in three decades will see the tree in full bloom and be able to pick the fruit off and just enjoy the little fruits. 
However, Howard's worth doesn't end there. She is a three-time WNBA champion and a 2019 Defensive Player of the Year, so her experience and talent could be a game-changer for players like Caitlin Clark and Aaliyah Boston, who are just starting out in the league. Howard is the type of mentor who can turn potential into rings, and her presence alone could turn the fever into a team that not only wants to win but expects to win as well. We know we don't, but making the financial space for Sabali and Howard won't be easy. The fever may need to make some difficult choices, such as letting go of veterans or foregoing future draft picks. Sims for Odyssey players with significant experience and mentoring value, particularly for someone like Clark, include Alex Bentley and Erica Wheeler. However, the Fever will need to carefully consider their selections and perhaps take some chances if they hope to assemble a championship roster. Playoff games. Bentley, got it. It's a gamble of epic proportions, but if Koff and White can pull this off, it could redefine the franchise. The potential is enormous, the stakes are even higher, and every WNBA fan should buckle up because this offseason is going to be an incredible ride. The ambition here is off the charts, and the stakes couldn't be higher. If all goes according to plan, we're about to witness one of the greatest transformations in WNBA history.